Is it working? Okay, uh, hi guys and uh, welcome to finally, long and behold, Prison Architect Alpha 20! First I'm gonna start off by saying that I'm sorry that I haven't done an Alpha 19 video, I was very busy and uh, you know, stuff happened and I haven't played this game in a very very long time. But now I have, uh, the Alpha 20 has uh, reappeared and I have restarted playing it and I finally done something with it and you're going to see many many new things have been added and I can't wait to present them to you all and maybe even try them out, who knows. Just if the prison would load. Any second now. And as you can see we finally, I have finally solved the issue with the cells being too big. Yeah, many people told me that Initially I thought this prison to be like a sort of um, um, like like a left-wing paradise, you know, just there's just big cells with everyone having everything and all that, just I was planning to give them even the bookshelves and showers and everything in their cells and everyone being fine and dandy and all that, but yeah, it's not really applicable. I mean, it's it was a good idea, but uh, you know I can make them smaller and still have them a TV in their in their cells and windows and things like that. So I've done that. And also completing this final part, as uh, you can see, we can go to maximum speed. That's been implemented since Alpha 17, I think, which is really awesome. We have the classroom uh, reform programs, all going nice and clean. All that prisoners are being reformed. 22 prisoners have actually passed the foundation education program, which means that we can actually start the general education qualification. And um, we actually don't have enough space for it. Great. Um, uh, are we going to need a new classroom? Hope not. Uh, I don't remember about this one. Um, oh yeah, this one was for the upper cell, right, 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 because this is quite, uh, it's, it's manageable, and I think this capacitor doesn't work, but yeah, never mind. So, uh, many things have changed, we have a new grant system that was implemented last time with bank loans, and uh, also a new finance system with taxes, with uh, days without incidents, valuation, everything fine and dandy. Armed guards have been introduced quite a while ago and uh, they are still looking badass as, as ever. However, the new thing that has been introduced is the grading system. Uh, which is currently unavailable because I haven't had enough prisoners be released because I just got this new alpha. So, I'm going to have to wait a few more days until they are done. The cells are being worked out. The, this is still an issue that... I don't know how am I going to solve. Spoons are st still being stolen and um, yeah. Uh, we will be able to receive more prisoners and once this is done we will be able to have a capacity or of... Um, what was that? I think almost... Um, I don't know... Uh, uh, 100 prisoners. Like that, also the solitary cells, must not forget about them. And the solitary door for the solitary cells. All fine. Right, and a little bit more here and here and they'll be done. Finally. Uh, closed on this uh, area that was pretty weird. It was a small gapping area over here. I was thinking about having a secondary canteen over here and there was like sort of access for the staff. But yeah, it didn't make quite enough sense. Prisoners are generally happy even though many of them have been moved to the uh, holding cell because of the changes in prison structure. But they are mostly happy. Dogs are still barking as always. And they got cigarettes, awesome. Good job, doggy. As you can see, we have both toilets and showers in the shower room, so very, very left-wing prison. I mean, we have telephones and TVs and pool tables in here. We have TVs in... well, I haven't put all the TVs in all these rooms yet. But we will put them in all the rooms and fancy tiles and windows and everything is fine and dandy. And I think... 
Uh, we will have to do a shakedown because I haven't done one in quite a while and um, we are finding a lot of contraband lately. And let me see one more extra guard. We are winning a lot more money because we are not paying as much taxes and that's always nice. Right, the uh, the toilets must be installed, and I guess they aren't because yeah, these things are very far away. And there's where the hell is the guard is incapable of unlocking the door. That's always great. So uh, let's do the shakedown, which will obviously piss off everyone, and it'll be a problem. I need to keep this door open because. With the shakedown underway, the guards won't be available to open it. Also, doors over here. And also, they're searching these cells, which clearly have nothing in them, but yeah, never mind. Oh man. Lots of spoons and forks are to be expected. More forks. Don't tell me that they are switching from spoon to sporks. To sporks, it just actually just said sporks. There's actually combination between the east and seals. I see a, a spork or whatever it's called. It's a spoon with like uh, small little teeth and um, yeah. Cigarettes, all is nice to find. Sorry, sir, you'll be locked down. And we'll start receiving prisoners very shortly. And the new, the most important thing that has been added, and uh, very, very awesome that they finally added. And um, can't wait to see more things being added. But this very important is that now you can actually lose the game. You remember that CEO guy from the intro that would bother you, and you had to execute that poor guy. Well, now he will call you and uh, give you a hard time if you're not performing well. Like, if you are having massive riots, or um, if too many prisoners die or escape, you can um, lose it. Just like that. And we have a few of these things that are not being plugged in properly. There we go. Prison danger level is increasing, which is not awesome. Whoa, this guy had a lot of things on him. Yes. I had a feeling a lot of saws yet. That was it. So no tunnels found. That's interesting. They have still stolen a lot of saws, but no tunnels as of yet. Well, that's great. The teacher is still over here, and that's very weird. So I guess the most important thing is uh, how you can lose the game. And you can lose the game, as I said, in multiple means. And uh, there are very awesome things that happen when you lose the game. You can lose the game to a riot, at which point they will send in the National Guard to come and clear your prison. And that will be absolutely fantastic if it will happen, but also very, very brutal. I'm thinking about like letting the armory locked open and letting prisoners arm themselves and then let them in the open riot and then the National Guard to come in and be a, like a total warfare and things like that. So that that will be on my list of things to do. But uh, I'm more interested that now you can actually lose the game and what will happen is that... Oh, I forgot to put a gel door here. There we go. You can lose the game and you can be imprisoned yourself. That is totally awesome. That's something that I will totally want to try out. I have a few more cells that have been on a sign over here. And over here. This cell remained a little bit big. I'm sorry, I cannot hold it. It wasn't very symmetrical. But now we have a lot of capacity and we're fine and as soon as the uh, next day we'll start receiving more prisoners and uh, yeah, you can become a prisoner of your, uh, of your own prison and I'm going to try that and I'm going to see if I can actually become um, uh, 
also new things, body armor. Um, if I can, if I can actually escape the prison uh, with my prisoner, that I will be me, and uh, that's something that I definitely want to try out, and I will. Um, yeah. So everything is fine. Everything is okay. There's nothing. This prison, as I said long before, is fully functional. Um, there's no. You can borrow the idea there's nothing wrong with it and it's actually uh, almost violence free I did have a few violence because um, I started um, rebuilding it and uh, uh, they didn't get enough sleep because we don't have enough beds in the holding cell and they have a lot some problems but um, mostly fine and uh, Dubrovsky where is he? There you go. Dubrovsky is up for behavioral therapy. He failed it once and he's up again. This guy is just total badass. And yeah, this is the grading for each uh, prisoner because he has tried to escape and also committed a murder. His security rating is very low. Low. His health and reform and punishment rating are very good. He has been suppressed along the time. He have worked and uh, been in reform programs alone. He hasn't been very successful. But because of that, he has a very high estimated uh, re-offending re rate. Which means that once he'll uh, uh, get out of the prison, he'll very likely commit crimes again. And he'll be sent back here. Will that be nice? Yeah, I'm going to stop the recording and start the recording once I actually become a prisoner of my own prison. So yeah, don't know if that will happen today or later or anything like that, but uh, I'll see you then. Alright guys, I just had a massive riot over here which is still unfolding. And now we got a call from the CEO, let's see. Your prison is out of control, put this riot... Now or the government will step in and take the prison by force. Well, I just did that. No problem. Let's rehire all this. We will need a lot more staff. is going down now. Uh oh, looks like we uh, got we are getting another call over here. Yesterday was a very dark chapter in the history of this prison. Far too many people lost their lives here. Make sure nobody else died today or you will face prosecution for criminal negligence. Oh yeah. That is awesome! Of course I'm gonna make sure nobody dies today! Am I right? Nobody else will die today, just, just, just take a look at this. Alright. This might take a while. And we just happen. Look at this. Don't say we didn't warn you. You have been found guilty of criminal negligence because of recent events here. Oh man. You'll now spend the next 10 years in jail as punishment for your crime. Your own jail. Good luck. Oh man. But I didn't... I didn't change the regime back. And all the armed guards there. Oh boy. Oh. Hey, look at me. I'm 19 years old. That's close enough. 
Where's this guy going? Can I move? Help! This is rather interesting. Um, the problem is, huh? Eh. Can jump off this truck. Hey, you! Oh, I can still see the. Hey, I wonder if. <laughs> la la la! Huh? Apparently I can still do that as a prisoner, I can like rat out other prisoners. But um uh, Yeah, because there I haven't been if I haven't placed that many guards you know uh, and the, the regime is still just yard I'm going to be pretty much stuck here. Hello All I wanted to do is to was to get arrested and then try to break out of my own prison. Can I do that? Please? Hmm. Well, this is awkward. Hey! Hey, wait for me! Hello? Guys! Can can someone please get me out of here? Please! Just... Where are they going? Hey, I want to escape too! Just, just get me out of this truck! Oh, for crying out loud! This is fucking embarrassing! Well, yeah, guys, this has been it. I'm stuck here in this truck, driving towards the prison for the rest of my life while my other... All my other... <laughs> cellmates are just freaking escaping. After I just killed too many people in the prison. This, this has been fun, I have to say. Alpha 20, definitely the best Alpha there I uh, can't wait to play more as a prisoner next time I'll like make sure that um, uh, uh, it will go better Th they should add a prisoner mode definitely definitely should add a prisoner mode but yeah that has been it so yeah guys uh, see you next time bye bye well, that didn't do long. First enemy, first death.